Hi, it's Sue with your FAQ, and today my question is for you. When you give a speech or a presentation, what are you there for? So whether you're presenting about your products and services to a large group of people, or perhaps you're inspiring and motivating your team, or maybe even promoting your latest book, you need to understand what it is that you're there for. What's the point of your presentation? So when you start to write out your presentation, you really need to think about what it is that your audience want to get from this presentation. So that's the most important thing. What's going to be a value to them? What are they going to take away from your presentation? So it might be that they are inspired. It might be that they do want to buy your book or your products or your services. It might be just a new way of thinking about something or to ask further questions. So you really need to think about what your stated objectives are and what the audience are going to take away from it. But you also need to think about what's in it for you. So your stated objectives and your unstated objectives. So to give you an example, I was working with a client one time and he was asked to speak at an industry conference on a panel session. And it was a great opportunity to promote the company and uh, the highlights and the latest offerings it had. But it was also an opportunity for him to showcase his own personal brand. Now, had he just answered the questions that were put to him by the chair, that would have been perfectly okay. But understanding in the back of his mind what he was truly there for, he was able to answer those questions and also get some extra media exposure. So what actually happened, he of course answered the questions and informed the audience about the highlights and the latest offerings from the company but he also expanded on those questions and talked about the value of the business to the economy and, and the economic value it had on the community. Now that in turn impressed the journalist who was there from the Australian newspaper. And so consequently, he got a media interview, he got a photograph taken and a wonderful coverage in the newspaper. So it was a great opportunity for him to highlight the company and the business, but also his own personal brand. So when you give a speech or a presentation, you need to think about what's what you're there for. What are you going to get from this? What is the outcome for your audience and also for yourself? So I hope that uh, quick tip actually helps you, but if you'd like to know more and read more about it, you can in my blog this week at suecurry.com.au. So until next time, keep shining.